Hi there, Jana Blaine here, your brand mentor, and you are watching the Daily Dose of Branditude. Today we're going to talk about books. Reading books is one of my favorite ways of spending time and developing the growth mindset. We talked about the the growth mindset before in the previous episode, so if you haven't seen it yet, I highly encourage you to go back and have a look. Now, coming back to books. I read a lot of books this year, and I decided to choose the book of the year. But before revealing you the winner, let's rock a bit. Early this year, I set up myself a few big goals. One of them was to read 45 books by the end of this year. For a mom of a toddler, a very active toddler and fresh social entrepreneur who just launched the business, this was a huge goal. But I didn't stop there. I took one more step and publicly committed to this goal. What a crazy idea, right? The thing is that it wasn't really about how many books I will read, but about the ritual of evening reading that I lost when my daughter was born six years ago. I wanted to get it back. I wanted to recreate it and that big goal was a way I was hoping to do so. I had a lot of mixed feelings. Believe me, I was wondering how I'm gonna find time to read all of these books. I'm so busy during the day that I barely find time to eat. And in the evening when my little one is in bed, I'm so tired that even if I find time to start reading the book, I fall asleep with a book on my face. So it was really a big unknown how this challenge will end. Two days ago, I finished reading another book this year and I thought that it's high time to count all of these books I read this year and see if I achieved my goal. This was actually the first thing I did in the morning. I went to my office, opened my laptop and the Excel spreadsheet and I counted the books. I counted the first time and I couldn't believe the number so I did it again and again and again. But the number was always the same, 50. I read this year 50 books, which means I overachieved my goal. How cool is that, right? But what is really more important, I recreated my evening ritual of reading the books, and that makes me very proud and very happy. When I was counting the books, I was also reflecting on all of the books I read, and I was thinking which of them had the biggest impact on me or made the biggest difference in my life. Which of them changed my life? I decided to choose the book of the year that I'm gonna reveal to you now. But before, a little surprise. There are actually two books of the year because both of them helped me to name what I felt, but I was unable to name. Ready? And the winners are... Plain Big by Tara Moore and Crazy Good Advice by Tony Lloyd. Yay! Okay, now let me tell you why I chose those books. The first position, Plain Big by Tara Moore, helped me to understand the limiting beliefs and the habits that we get through the life that prevent us from playing big. Thanks to Tara uh, and her book, I learned how the mechanism of auto-sabotaging works and how to stop it. I learned to listen to my inner mentor instead of inner critic and to communicate without diminishing myself. All of this little adjustment, all of this little modification allowed me to play big. The second position uh, crazy Good Advice by Tony Lloyd helped me to find myself in this business world. Since I launched my business, I felt that I am more than entrepreneur. 
but I couldn't find the word. By reading his book, actually, I realized I am a social entrepreneur, a change creator. Making the difference in the world was always the biggest driver for me. I strongly believe, actually, that I've got a second life for a reason. This book is a wonderful and inspiring piece because it is filled with stories of everyday change makers who are making a huge impact. So now, if you have only a bit of time, just a bit of time to read one or maybe two book, books a year, I highly recommend Playing Big by Tara Moore and Crazy Good Advice by Tony Lloyd. And once you read any of them, please come back here and leave a comment below. Share your thoughts. I can't wait to read all of them. I see you in the next episode where I will be revealing all the little tricks I use to achieve the 45 book in a year goal and to recreate my evening reading ritual. If you don't want to miss it, hit the button subscribe below this video and you will be all set up. Oh, and there is a one more thing actually. Below this video in the description field, you will also find a complete list of 50 books I read this year. Enjoy!